swag of a prize fighter. Uh-huh. The antithesis uh-huh. of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Damn. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Uh-huh. Got rated, had a plan uh-huh. to get my ounce back. Right. UC's that's, that's bait, right. that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. Sure. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. Next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, a comment made by Eddie Hearn where he reveals that Canelo Alvarez might fight Badu Jack at Cruiserweight. So we're going to take a look and then we'll discuss it. So according to Mike Carpenter, or actually uh, Boxing King Media is the source, uh, Eddie Hearn has revealed that he's had talks about potentially making Canelo Alvarez versus Badu Jack in Saudi for Jack's WBC cruiser, Cruiserweight world title. He said, I like the fight. I don't think Eddie Reynoso is rushing around that fight, but it might have some legs. That's what Eddie Hearn had to say. We have Trill Dollar Bill with us. Uh, what's your reaction to Eddie Hearn saying that uh, Canelo Alvarez might fight Bottle Jack? Listen, that's cool. Hey, if we can't get the fight with uh, Buval, why we still chasing greatness? We still chasing greatness. Why not snatch a cruiserweight belt up? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bobby Jack. We respect you. You know, I got love for you. You know, but uh, listen, this is what Canelo's doing. We, we're, we're, we're chasing greatness and we're snatching belts. You know, if we can't get the Buval fight, then we're going to go up there and, and grab another belt for him. Uh, cruise away because we chasing legacy. That's what we're doing. Chasing legacy. We try to be in those history books. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Legacy. Everybody about the money. We about the legacy. All right. G- it ain't about what you want to see. It's about legacy. All right. G. I could give a damn about legacy. I want to see the fights I want to see. And I want to see my man fight the wall. Or Benavidez. Bottle Jack is, I respect this man. You know, Bottle Jack's a good, humble guy, all that good stuff, yada, yada, yada. But ain't nobody thinking about no Badu Jack against no Canelo Alvarez, bro. Like, people want to see Canelo up against those two gentlemen. Baval, because he already got in there with Baval and lost. So it makes sense for him to run it back. Or Benavidez, because everybody's been calling out this fight. Everybody wants to see how Canelo is going to do against Benavidez. Nobody was anticipating or looking towards Badu Jack's direction. So, to me, it's, it's just like, hey, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, it's another accomplishment under Canelo's, you know, long list of accomplishments. But how much of an accomplishment is it really if Canelo... To me, I'm not really that impressed if Canelo actually beats Badu Jack. You know, I'll be more impressed to see Canelo beat Baval. To me, you know, especially the way he lost before. Coming back from that loss and, and uh, avenging that loss, I think would be way more impressive. You know, um, and uh, you know, just the excitement behind a Canelo versus Benavides fight would be way more exciting than. Canelo Badu Jack, anyways. You know, although the size differential is a lot greater in this one, you know, like Badu Jack, man, a lot of scar tissue, a lot of wear and tear. Like, I don't know, man. But hey, I'm not mad at Badu Jack, man. Get your bag. This is a good payday for him, you know, and so I get it. But nah, man, I want to see Canelo go up against Baval. Or go up against Benavides. All right. TBE. Hey man, I see Canelo still on his um weight gaining journey. You know, I love it. So you know, one day he's still it's still in the, it's still there. Canelo versus AJ, yo. What is it called? What is it called? TBE? Big Orexia. Tell him what it is. Big Orexia, you feel me? Canelo not 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 going down, he only going up. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Jack first time. Pause yourself. 
Oh. <laughs> I ain't not going down. You're only going up. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. That's the medical term. That's the term coined for this condition. And that's what Canelo suffers from is bigorexia. And if he wants to be the biggest man in the in the gym, if he wants to be the, if he wants to make history and legacy, let's go, Canelo. I ain't mad at it. He need a, if he if bottle Jack. Who was it? Who was the other dude that he was supposed to fight? But then he ended up fighting before. I forget. Uh. What you don't? He was uh he was champion. He was he was gonna fight some cruiserweight. And oh, the guy who uh, Bottle Jack beat. Yeah, he's gonna fight him. So now it's Bottle Jack who got to suffer a punishment, you know. But yo, shout out to Bottle for securing the bag. Yo, let's make it happen, Eddie. It's gonna be a great fight. We love seeing Canelo fighting different weight classes. Next, yo, if 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 Canelo can hit two 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 twenty. I take him against Dillian. I, I we'll, we'll go Dillian, Tizora. We'll go even Joseph Park. We'll go against anybody. Then once he beats them, you do AJ, and then you, you make him go after Usyk. So yeah. you know. Stop, stop. <laughs> Canelo's like five seven, five six, bro. Well, <laughs> Tyson was five nine, knocking guys out. So was like know. five ten, bro. Relax. He grew a little bit, you know, but you know, back when he started, he was like five nine, you know. Let's keep it on it. Like Tyson Canelo, Canelo got this, yo. So Canelo, keep doing your thing, man. You 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 putting on for the big boys. Uh it's interesting. Um, like many people, there are a lot of fights involving Canelo that I would like to see. I would like to see Canelo fight Benavidez. I would like to see Canelo fight Bobal. Um, But there are certain issues with those fights. Um, and we're going to talk about the Bobal fight next, so I don't want to get into it too much. But with David Benavidez, it's more of, I feel like, I feel like David, David Benavidez is the flavor of the month. Right. When Floyd Mayweather was on top, there was always a guy who the public decide could beat Floyd and they wanted to see Floyd fight him. For example, um, at one point it was Diego Corrales. They said he couldn't beat Diego Corrales. Then he went and he cooked Diego Corrales. Then everyone said he can't beat you know, Manny Pacquiao. Then they said he couldn't beat Canelo. Then they said he couldn't beat this guy. And then after Floyd beat those guys, they always find a way to discredit Floyd's yeah. victory. And I feel like David Benavidez is the new flavor of the month. It doesn't matter that Canelo went and he beat an undefeated um, Callum Smith. He beat an undefeated Billy Joe Saunders. He beat an undefeated Caleb Plant in order to become undisputed champion at 168. People were looking for the next thing. And I don't know if you recall, but when Canelo said he was going to move up to 175 to challenge Bavall, everyone said, oh, it's a terrible matchup, and Canelo was favored to beat Bavall. And then after Bavall beat Canelo, everyone jumped on the Bavall train because of their hatred for Canelo. Bavall <laughs> was some popular guy who everyone knew. <clears throat> I pointed out Bavall was in a close fight with uh, Craig Richards. And, and he was lucky to get that decision. It was a close decision. So it wasn't like uh, Baval was some great dude who had a whole bunch of fans. All Can all Baval's fans are people who hate Canelo. So now they so now they so now they riding with Baval. So again, we'll get into Baval's issue. But I I'll just start off by saying there's a legitimate reason why Canelo would not fight Baval. So if your Canelo and your plan was to win a title at 175 and then move up to cruiserweight and try to win a title at cruiserweight, if the guy you were going to fight with at 175 isn't trying to entertain the fight, then move up to cruiserweight. Because I want to give you my honest opinion. Canelo selected Baval because Canelo believes Baval is the weak link at 175. But there's another guy at 175 who got three belts. But Canelo didn't try to fight him. So, if anything, I don't think Canelo's afraid of Baval. I think nobody wants parts of better BF. 
So he said, you know what? If I want to make history, let me take the easier guy who's Baval because he was moving up in weight. And if he would have beat Baval, I think that maybe he would have had the confidence to challenge better be at. Or maybe he still wants to do that, which is why he wants to fight at 175. But if he can't get that, he's looking at cruiserweight. So now if Canelo goes up to cruiserweight, now I want you to think about this logic for a second and how biased it is. If Canelo moves up to cruiserweight, which is going to be two weight divisions, to fight Baru Jack, who is a skilled fighter, everyone's going to say he ran from the smaller fighters. How can a man win in that situation? So you mean to tell me that a man moves up two weight classes to fight harder punchers, bigger people, and everyone says that he's he's running. The same thing they said before his fight with Baval, where he ended up losing. Before that fight, everyone was clowning Canelo saying, oh, another cherry, he's ducking Benavidez. When he fought Baval, they said he was ducking Benavidez. It was Benavidez who said, yo, Baval's a good fighter. I sparred with him. So can we at least admit then that when Canelo didn't fight Benavidez and he fought Baval, he actually went to take on a dangerous fight? Can he get any credit for that? And if he moves up to cruiserweight to take on Bartle Jack, who is a champion, and Bartle Jack, who is a solid fighter, who is bigger than him, in the 190 pound weight division, which would mean that Canelo came from what 140 all the way to 190, which is 50 pounds. Can he get any credit for that? Only in boxing do people criticize someone for taking risk and trying to accomplish certain things. Only in boxing, because they don't they're not making a fight that we want to see, which is Benavidez. And let's ask what fights has Benavidez made that we want to see. But we're holding one guy to a different standard. And I'll close by saying this. As far as I'm concerned, Canelo Alvarez has earned the right to pick his opponents as long as, one, he's attempting to make history, or two, it's his mandatory or one of the best available fighters out. Unlike Benavidez, whose best opponent is Caleb Plant after Canelo Alvarez dispatched of him first. And now we're waiting to see what Benavidez is going to do next. If Benavidez doesn't get the Canelo fight, who is Benavidez going to fight next? Mongia? Because his, cause his daddy just uh, FaceTimed Mongia trying to get the fight with Mongia. And the sad part is, Benavidez could fight Mongia next and get away with it because Canelo's the only person that people are holding accountable for anything. And when he takes risks, everybody tries to diss him. This is the problem with the sport of boxing, right? You say you want the best to fight the best, but when the best fight the best, you don't give them any reward. You don't, they lose, you call them overrated. They lose, you say this, you say that. And that's the problem with the sport of boxing. When all is said and done, I don't know who Canelo Alvarez is going to fight next. But if he fights Bardo Jack, you can get no credit for that. Moving up two weight divisions to take on a cruiserweight champion. Okay, he gets no credit for that. Let me ask you a question. How many people have done that in the history of boxing? And why haven't more people done it? If Benavidez is such a badass, why doesn't he move to 175 since Canelo is holding the belts hostage? And why doesn't he challenge Bavol? Why doesn't he challenge better BF? There are other routes to success. Canelo built his name. Everyone's trying to build their name off of Canelo. I'll close by saying this. I heard the dumbest thing I've ever heard from Benavidez's dad saying, Canelo doesn't want to pass the torch. What do you mean pass the torch to Benavidez? As if it's his responsibility to build up Benavidez. It's Benavidez's responsibility to build himself up to the point where he can't be denied access. It's not Canelo's job to pass the torch to David Benavidez. David Benavidez has one credible victory. And, oh, it's just something that Canelo Alvarez happened to do first. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What, what world are we living in? 
better be a, I mean, a Bavall beat Canelo. That's cool. But Canelo was moving up in weight, and and Canelo wants a rematch, and now Bavall wants to do something other than he agreed to, which we'll get into in the next segment. And everybody wants to blame Canelo. The heat was great. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know who you're rocking with, the mighty, mighty boxing bros.